Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, we will practically look at how do we roll the drone towards the left and right. And in this particular session, we will see that to roll the drone towards the right or left, we will again use a concept of differential thrust or difference in the drone thrust. So now let us see how do we roll the drone to the right and the concept is fairly similar. I hope you've gone through the concept of how to pitch the drone forward and backward and in terms of the controls we will be using these controls as mentioned here. So now that said what we will do here is we will first hover the drone as you know so the drone goes up now to move the drone right as you will know that I will take motor 1 and motor 4 and increase motor 1 and motor 4 so the drone starts rolling right and as you know if I do not stop it the drone will continue to rotate until it crashes which is fine so the crashing part is okay let me show you that again again let us increase the rpm and now I will increase motor 1 and motor 4 as you can see by pressing Q and W and this will continue to happen until I stop it so you know that for me to stop it what I need to do so let us go ahead and do that so again first hovering and then we stop the hovering now I increase motor 1 and motor 4 where you can see red and yellow the drone continues to rotate now to stop it I will reduce and the drone stops rotating I make 4 equal now you can guess why the drone is moving downwards if you've already tried this in the pitch lecture there are a few questions I want you to consider first how do I stop the drone from continuously rotating so let us answer that question first so I increase motor 1 and motor 4 now for me to stop the drone from rotating so I increase the 4 thrust motors I reduce them to stop it from flying up and then I increase motor 1 and motor 4 and the drone starts rolling to the right now I make all four of them equal so the rotation stops so point number one the rotation stops now the second question is you see that the drone is going downwards and that's the question that I want you to understand and ask yourselves and see how we can solve that and again as I told you the hint lies in the three options that we have option number one is should we reduce motor 1 and motor 4 or should we increase motor 2 and motor 3 or should we reduce motor 1 and motor 4 by one small amount and increase motor 3 and motor 2 by some small amount so I want you to try that practically and see how can you maintain the same height for the drone now that is very important so moving back now how do we roll the drone to the left now we will go to the left now to go to the left what we will do is we will increase motor 3 and motor 2 and you will see that the drone starts rotating to the left and to stop the rotation I will make all four equal so you will see that the drone stops rotating but still starts going down now the question about how to stop it from going down I hope you will answer that question by trying it on the simulator let me show you that again it's simple first I increase all four motors I reduce it to hover now to roll towards the right I will increase motor 3 and motor 2 so the drone starts rolling to the left and now to stop it I make all four of them equal so when it becomes equal the drone stops rotating and it maintains a steady angle do not worry about the collision so this is a concept called differential thrust where as you see 
when I need to turn my drone to the left or roll my drone, I increase motor 2 and motor 3. Now the difference in motor 2 and motor 3 actually causes the drone to roll to the left and when that difference comes back to 0, means all four are equal, the drone stops rotating. So I hope this concept is clear for you guys that if you need to move the drone to the right, if you need to roll the drone to the right, motor 1 and motor 4 need to be at a higher RPM compared to motor 2 and motor 3. Similarly, if you need to roll the drone to the left, motor 2 and motor 3 have to be at a higher RPM compared to motor 1 and motor 4. And when you need to stop the rotation in any direction, you have to make sure that all the four motors are at an equal RPM. Now one question as I told you, you need to explore is how do you maintain the same height? The hint is keep your eyes on the upward thrust and the motor thrust and how it compares to the weight. Okay guys, I hope this was clear for you all. Please go ahead and try this practically using the simulator. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.